Please kneel and join us for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself, through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word, made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them, most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always, and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed Sunday to you sisters and brothers, and to, those, and to those who join us in worship via this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are now on the third Sunday of Easter. Our Mass presider for today is Father Anthony Inson, SVD. Our celebration of the Eucharist will now begin, so please stand. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, our proclamation continues to be, The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Father Jerry Orbos, as announced last Sunday, is on a pilgrimage. He will be arriving tonight or I think tomorrow with Father Sherwin Arumin and he will continue to preside over this 11 a.m. Mass next Sunday. Now for us to become less unworthy as we celebrate the gift of God's resurrection, let us first of all call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord for his pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We include in this prayer those people who asked us to pray for them, our personal intentions, and even pray for people who may not be expecting us to be praying for them. May your Easter people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you hunted over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I call, answer me, O my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. O Lord, let your light, your content, shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. Let your face shine on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way may we be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Lord 
Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples recounted what had happened on the road to Emmaus and how they had come to know Jesus in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he himself stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you in their panic and fright they thought they were seeing a ghost he said to them why are you disturbed why do such ideas cross your mind look at my hands and my feet it is really i touch me and see that the ghost does not have flesh and bones as i do as he showed and he as he said this he showed them his hands and feet. They were still incredulous for sheer joy and wonder. So he said to them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of cooked fish, which he took and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, Recall those words I spoke to you when I was still with you. Everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and psalms had to be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understanding of the scriptures. He said to them, Thus it is likewise written that the Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. In his name, penance and the remission of sins is to be preached to all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of this. The Gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, in the Holy Land, there are two famous tombs, not only recently, but more so historically. Dalawang sikat na libingan. First, understandably, is the empty tomb of Jesus. Maraming pumupunta doon, maraming nagdarasal doon, and it is preserved at this time. The second tomb, surprisingly, is the tomb of Lazarus. Remember the friend of Jesus who died and Jesus came, hindi siya umabot, he wept, and then he told them to take out the stone and called Lazarus and Lazarus came back to life. I said historically because when the archaeologists found the tomb or the site of the tomb of Lazarus, they were first perplexed dahil hindi lang isang simbahan ang tinayo doon. By that, we mean, nung tinayo yung unang simbahan, nasira o sinira, nagtayo muli sila ng pangalawang simbahan at pinatungan lang nila yung flooring nung unang simbahan at nasira uli ito at pinatungan uli nila yung pangalawang flooring ng simbahan at nasira muli ito at pinatungan uli nila yung flooring ng simbahan In short, kahit na sinisira o nasisira yung simbahan binabalik-balikan nila at tinatayo nilang pilit ang simbahan ng lugar na ito. The question is, why? Bakit pabalik-balik ang mga tao doon sa lugar 
kung saan binuhay ni Jesus si Lazarus. Both believers and unbelievers are drawn to that place and when they realize Lazarus came back to life, those who at first did not believe in Jesus began to believe in the power of Christ. So you can see the power of God. You can see the immense grace in that area. People are drawn not just to life, but to life after death. This is a case when the message is power in itself. Yung malaman ng tao na ang kapangyarihan ni Kristo is greater than sin, darkness, and death. And mind you, there were many times in history that people felt the power and helplessness before sin, darkness, and death. Pero pag pumupunta sila doon sa libingan ni Lazarus, napapaalalahanan sila ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos nagapi ang kadiliman, kasalanan, kawalan ng direksyon, at kamatayan. I repeat, the message of God's power is greater than death, darkness, sin, and helplessness. No wonder pabalik-balik ang mga tao doon. Second, let's go to the empty tomb of Jesus. And we emphasize the word empty. Because Easter is a celebration that the Lord is not in the tomb. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Ilang Sunday sito na ang ating proclamation, the Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Not only is the message power in itself, the message is greater than the messengers themselves. Kailangan nating matanto iyan, matanggap iyan, at pagsilbihan ang katotohanan iyan. The message is more powerful, is greater, is grace, even to the messengers themselves. Imagine, yung dalawang disciples, kapag ganito ang kwento nila, the Lord is risen, ang gusto nilang sabihin, naglalakad kami, yung isang kasama ko, nakapantalon, ako nakashorts, tapos napigtas yung chinelas ko, tapos inaantok-antok ako noon eh, tapos ewan ko, kinakati yung ulo ko, may kuto ako noon eh, tapos hindi ko alam ano kaya yung breakfast ko noon, sandali, what is the message? The Lord is risen. The Lord is not in the tomb. The message is not, I saw the Lord. I walked there. I was suffering. I have difficulty. I am fearful. I took breakfast. I... No. The message is more powerful, is greater and is even grace to the messengers themselves. Many times we walk through life and say, Pagod na ako. Hindi ako masaya. May kulang sa buhay ko. Naiinis ako. Hindi ko maintindihan ang aking sarili. Tatatata ako, alala ako, atatata ako, alala ako. And when we hear ourselves, we are talking about the messenger and no longer the message. 
or majority the messenger and not the message or worse oblivious of the message I only look at myself anong kinain ko anong gusto kong kainin saan ko gustong pumunta anong hirap ko saan ako nadapa anong sakit ko sa katawan the message of Easter is this Look at the apostles after the resurrection. One of them, while preaching, was thrown into the cliff. One of them was crucified invertedly. One of them, pinakuluan sa kumukulong tubig. One of them, pinugutan ng ulo. Mga walang sahod. Mga walang posisyon. Mga wala pang simbahan na katulad nito. Mga wala pang masyadong pumapalakpak sa kanila. Why were they doing it? Because they realize meaningful life, grace-filled life, a life with direction is the life of a messenger realizing the message is his salvation. His proclamation is greater than him. The message is that the Lord is risen. That is my proclamation. That is where I have meaningful life. I will tell the world, there is a love that is from God. There is forgiveness from God. Aray ko, tumatanda na ako. Nadapa ako. Regardless, God loves us. God is our hope. God is our light. God is our direction. God is risen, hallelujah, and He does not abandon us. Forget about me. The message is greater than the messenger. So dear friends, as we celebrate Easter, we bow down to what Jesus did for us, who Jesus is for us, and how Jesus wants us to proclaim His powerful message. It is a message of love. It is a message of a God who did not forget us. It is a message of salvation, not selfishly for us alone, but for the world to hear and remember. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. That is my meaning in life, to proclaim that message. That is the light at the end of the tunnel. That is my direction. That is what I live for. To tell people of a God who loves, of a God who suffered and died for us, of a God who loves us and wants us to proclaim our participation in His kingdom. Let us all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the breaking of bread, Jesus Christ makes himself known to us as our life and resurrection. He sends us to be witnesses to his name. Through him, we present our petitions to the Father that our response be, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May your church be a beacon of light, helping people in darkness to come to know Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, to your people. people. May all elders, by governing with fidelity, those entrusted to care, build nation in peace, brotherhood and respect for human dignity we pray lord listen to your people may all consecrated men and women 
proclaim your resurrection through their lives, their prayer, and their service to others. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. Bless our labor that is in my sustain our life on earth and enhance our human dignity. Ease our burden, make our faith strong, and inspire us to put our trust in you. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. people. Welcome into the eternal life, our deceased brothers and sisters, so that they may truly see the light of your continent. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your people. people. Let us pray for urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. God, our Father, you restored us to yourself through the resurrection of Christ, your Son. Hear the prayers of your people and strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, dear friends, that these our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the sufferings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. 
for his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pause in silence to remember our departed loved ones. And to pray for those who have recently died. Lord, welcome them into the light of your holy face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all your apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ.
through Him and with Him and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We are children belonging to the light. Let us turn to our loving Father in the manner Jesus himself taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold Jesus, our risen Lord, He who takes away sin, death, and darkness from the world. Happy are we who are to receive Him in this banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. And also, to receive the body of Christ with reverence, please keep your hands free. Thank you very much.
announcements. We continue to invite you to come and rest a while at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word and spend time with Jesus in the Adoration Chapel. Let us adore and revere Him in silence and find solace in His presence before the Blessed Sacrament. Enjoy the refreshments al fresco at the Mission Bus Snack Bar. It is open every Sunday from 8.30 in the morning to 12.30 p.m. and from 4 in the afternoon up to 5.30 in the afternoon. It is an apostolate, a part of the formation of, the se of our seminarians for missionary life. Let us support our future missionaries. We would also like to thank uh, our Mass offerers for this Mass as follows. Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Kines, Ramirez and Celia's family. Mr. and Mrs. Badiola, Fe Manzano, Elche Nicolas, and Mr. and Mrs. Virgin Torred and family. Please all rise for the final blessing. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia, alleluia.